Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Si vous êtes français, pas vous oublier à mettre les sous-titres. Ah, Serbie, ne mettez pas de vous abonner, prévod. It's lovely morning. I'm taking you on a walk with me in the lovely sea town of Concarneau. Buckle up. Seven thirty in the morning, and the sky looks just beautiful. I've decided to have a small walk this morning and show you around where we live right now. going to follow the coast as I walk from the house where we live all the way to the old fortress city which is the main attraction and what it Nukonkarno is actually known for. by the lack of people right now because it's early in the morning. Concarneau is a very touristic place, especially in summer. You can only smell these, they smell amazing. On the right side, you can see the marinarium, and this is the entrance to the Bay of Concarneau. And here it is. On the right side you can see the fortified old city of Concarneau. That is the heart of the city and the main tourist attraction here. I believe that every French has heard of Concarneau and the first thing that comes into the mind of people when they hear Concarneau is very close. Let's look around a bit. In front of us, there is a market in a very beautiful building. And next to that crane in front is the old hotel and restaurant Armial. This whole area, however, is now at the time of the low tide, so it's completely dry. But they are not that actually in a period of high tide that is completely covered with water. In front of us is the famous clock tower of Concarneau, symbol of it. You'll
So the walled town is not that big, but it is very cute. The ground level of the buildings is usually occupied by souvenir shops, restaurants, cafes. Uh, here on the right we have a place with great ice cream. And on the right we will get to the Museum of Fishing, which is not something you usually find in every town. And it's very, very interesting museum. And as I mentioned, the souvenir shop with souvenirs not just from Goncarno, but in general from the Brittany. So, on our left side, we're going to soon arrive to the pastry shop L'Arnicole, which is actually known in France because L'Arnicole won the Best Pastry Worker Award in 1993, which launched him into the world of pastry and he became well known. There are even shops in Paris, one of them on Montmartre, and their pastry and generally sweet is just, just amazing. But the concept itself, the Larnicon family, comes from Brittany. They started there and they opened the first shop in Camper. Why not? You should always have a cute decoration on your window. <laughs> about the fountain you see here. It had a sculpture on top, a small sculpture that collapsed in 2019. And we actually passed many times here before noticing that it's gone. This here is the last half timbered house in Concarneau. Walking now towards what was once the uh, exit to the port, and this is where the goods were brought by the ships and then brought within the city through this door. And as one of the goods that Concarneau imported was actually wine, mainly from Bordeaux, the name of this gate is the Gate of Wine. Concarneau is also a shipyard, which you can see in the distance. And this on the other side is also part of the Concarneau. That is accessible via road, normally. 
but also via small boat, which is actually what is this woman doing right now. She is waiting for a boat that will come to pick her up and drop her just over there, where actually you can see the boat. It might sound a bit strange to have a boat for such a short distance, but actually it saves a lot of time for people who need to go all around with their car. The boat is just literally two minutes, right? This boat here is the part of the fishing museum exhibition and you can actually go on it, um, go inside of it, walk around. This is the market that I mentioned before. And as I'm out of the walled town, I'm going to take the green trail for a while. Hello there. It's a trail which is used for all kinds of sports activities. This one specifically connecting Hoskov and Concarneau, 147 kilometers. For the very end, I'm going to finish my walk at the beach of Sable Blanc, white sand, where you can already see that people are gathering around. It's 10 o'clock now. And I'm going to have my breakfast here. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed walking with me. And see you next time.